Your children are never too old or too young to connect with you. Let's welcome back author and licensed psychologist Dr. Kelly Rabenstein, who is back with great advice on how to encourage strong bonds with your kids. Welcome back. Thank you. Yeah, you know, I, when they're young, you can make an excuse, oh, they're young mm -hmm. and it's hard to connect. When they're old, they want to be with their friends. That's mm -hmm. not true. No, true. they want to be with you. Yeah. They want to spend time with you and have quality moments. So I like to offer parents a couple of tips parents, anyone who is spending time with teens especially, yeah. but any age. And the first thing is just creating space free from negative feedback. Yes, <laughs> yes. Not every single <laughs> togetherness moment has to result in a lecture. Yes, it's so <laughs> hard, but, right? Our yeah. job, part of our job is to mold and guide. Yes. But if you think about how you would feel, how you did feel when someone is giving you feedback, you know, we like to say that there's a rule of three and one for every relationship, three positive interactions for every one negative interaction. Mm -hmm. So if we keep that at the front of our mind when we are with our children yeah. to really create some space where we aren't sort of picking, prodding. Yeah, what is it about parents that they feel that they always need to put in those two cents? That if they miss that opportunity, it's never gonna come back. I think it's a little bit anxiety. You know, we're yeah. trying our best right. and there's no rule book. And we think, oh, I have to be doing, I'm on all the time. Yeah. But a good thing to remember is, there's always another chance to make that suggestion. And sometimes you have to sort of bring it front of your mind. Right now, we're just gonna be together. Yes. Um, yeah. You know, spending time together, either carved out special time. And you know, something that a lot of us don't realize is when we have a shared goal, so whether it's making dinner together, planting a garden, it doesn't have to be a big deal, but it should be something attainable. Mm -hmm. We get an extra bonding, uh, it's sort of an extra bonding magic I like to yeah, call it uh -huh. when we do something together that has a result and it doesn't have to be a big deal it can be riding your bikes together sure yeah. any activity and, and not and none of that you're doing it wrong or doing yes. you can do it better this way yes. or <laughs> leave it at home now, I'm not saying from personal experience that this is what I've heard um, no but but it is true and I, I think when you're talking about just trying to capture those those moments of not wanting to let them slip and to have a teachable moment, but then you, you lose something in the bond mm -hmm. when it's always a teachable moment. Yes, if you think about the way we interact with our friends, yeah. We certainly don't pick at them, right? I mean, right. we enjoy them. We see them from a little bit of space and distance and we love our time with them. We laugh, we're relaxed. If we could just adopt a little bit of that in sure. our experiences with our children. Yeah. Because you're, you're saying that you, you're, you're always on. Yes. You always feel like you need to be mom or you always mm -hmm. need to be dad. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know of a single child, no matter what age, that wouldn't argue about giving that parent the day off. Yes. Right? <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> so, so it's okay. Yes. It's okay. And, and yes. you, you can ask a child, any child, it's okay. Take the day off. Yes. Let's just have some fun. Let's relax together. Let's yeah. just be, feel each other's time, you know, and energy together. One thing that can help if you must focus on something is to focus on mindful listening mm -hmm. um, because we don't do that a lot with our children you know we don't have a lot of empathy for our children sometimes it's 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 the truth right we expect so much of them mm -hmm. and our own feelings and reactions get so wrapped up in that but mindful listening really just means being fully present in the moment mm -hmm. which is very hard so model put the device down be with your child, right? Yeah. Be fully present, listening to them, reflecting on what they're saying, and then create space for whatever they bring without your own agenda. Quiet that constant. Let me also ask you this. So, you know, for anyone who has a close relationship with their parent, they're so blessed and lucky to have that. What if there's been a, a gap in that relationship? How do you create a bond? How do you start making that connection once again? So you can't rush it. Yeah. But creating space is so huge. So creating space can look like I'm in the kitchen and you come in and I'm just standing there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Even if we're not talking at first, just yeah. being near each other, offering small things. Um, I'm going for a drive, do you wanna come? It, and you know what, sometimes people say, oh, don't bribe your kids. I don't, th those people do not have children. Yeah. You can say, let's go get ice cream. Yes. Let's, you know, go do something that they wanna do. Meet them where they are. This mm -hmm. is what we say all of the time meet them where they are. They 
they want to do something, you go do it with them. Yes. That's you know the way and have those expectations be pretty low we're gonna spend the time together without a negative interaction it sounds so simple but really it's quite <laughs> profound and I think a lot of people can relate and they can use this advice thank you so thank much you. Dr. Kelly really appreciate you coming to join us we're back in two minutes <laughs>